Today on Houston Life, we're going to catch up with Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson, what he's encouraging the community to do to stay healthy this season. And we have a heartwarming story of a local 12-year-old girl who turned her passion for art into a fundraiser for those in need. Plus, get the kids in the kitchen with this holiday recipe. Look at that. My son AJ and I get a lesson in making the yummy peppermint bark. And Joe Sam introduces us to a local woman who is honoring victims of a distracted driving with angel trees why this cause is so important to her and her message to families that have lost a loved one all in that and more is happening today on houston life <laughs> is that for real oh. live from studio b at kprc channel 2 houston life starts now Okay, y'all, we made it to Friday. It is Friday, December 18th. And Randy McElvoy, we didn't scare you away last week, I'm, huh? I'm welcome to come <laughs> back here. I'm, you'll ask me back. I must have done okay, I guess. We I had mean, so yeah. much fun. We had a great, great time. Great feedback from, from the viewers good, as well. It good. was so much fun to hang out and with you. And we got you. to eat chocolate, too. Was, I know. That was, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of yes. fun. Today we get to talk about chocolate. So okay. I don't know if we're going to eat it, but we're definitely going to talk about it. We're definitely that. in for some fun. So made it to the week. It is the yeah. last Friday before. For Christmas. How about that? Uh, by the way, I'm in for Derek. Derek's uh, off for right. a couple of days as well, and uh, I know he's going to have a good holiday. You guys are going to have a little nice break, I think, with your family. I'm anxious to see your segment with your son here. I know. AJ loves a good cooking segment, yep. and that kid does not shy away from a video camera, any kind of television. He loves good. it. So, good. And he likes to wear his little Santa hat and kind of dress up. Good but truth be told, he has eaten all of the props. Okay. I'm sorry. It's all gone. A little sugar high? Or? <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's really good. It's a really great <laughs> recipe. And I'm so good. glad, Randy. I know that you guys are super busy. Um, sad that the Texans couldn't, like, pull off the... I know. Yeah, they uh, not a good outing that last time in Chicago. Yeah. So they're going to be on the road in Indianapolis. And I think everybody... I think if you ask it, a lot of football fans in this city. Uh, yes. Obviously. And, and by the way, yeah, your Bears, growing up in Chicago, yeah. they kind of put it to them last yeah. week. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we have so many football fans, but I think at this point they're ready to get this season over with. They're 4-9. Yeah. and nine, And keep your fingers crossed Deshaun Watson to stay healthy because he's going to play. That's been a big question is should he even play in these final three games to avoid and risking injury because right. all of a sudden 2021 season could be affected if he goes down. But he's going to play. I I'm a little concerned. I was on the, in the, on the side of the fence where hold him out. Yeah, just don't there's bother. no reason to take a chance. Right, because there's no no reason to take the risk right. at this point. And you got a new coach coming in, whoever they hire. Well, if, say he gets hurt in the next week or two, what coach is going to oh, want to no. come in knowing they don't even have Deshaun Watson? Right. So, big question, but he's going to play Sunday in Indianapolis. Well, and we do have a really cool story coming up with Deshaun Watson a little bit later on okay. in the show. But right now, for all of the, you know, other fans of the game we still like football maybe our team isn't in it but <laughs> this is really cool and I'm, I'm excited to get your take on this because yeah. Nickelodeon you know the home of all things kids right especially mm -hmm. Spongebob well they're looking to air some slime filled coverage of the NFL playoff game on Sunday January 10th that's at 3 30 so this okay. is one of the wild card games and the network coverage will begin with Spongebob sports pants countdown special <laughs> so it's sort of a way to kind of of like merge a younger audience Absolutely. what do you think you weren't surprised by this I no guess. it wasn't because if you've seen maybe the, the the theme of last couple of years a few years ratings you know the yeah. NFL ratings have gone down a little bit still really good when you look at them you're, you're kind of wowed by them but by NFL standards they've been down and I think they really like other sports I think they really want to reach out and I don't blame them yeah start luring in that young audience and make sure you can lock them in now because uh, hopefully for the long run you've got them and what better way to do that than through Nickelodeon and then throw in the slime and the, the so big gonna eyeballs gonna like, are going to come out of the screen. It's or, basically graphics, right? They're I adding they're, in the graphics. I think it's going to be heavy graphics, just stuff that kids can relate to and say, hey, look, look, mom and dad, look at that. That's cool. I'll right. watch this. And, uh, you know, they're going to make it work, I think. And they've already done a little test. A little test, yeah. I think, early on in one of right. the games uh, in December. What's so funny is one time my dad was visiting from Chicago and it was one of these, like, SpongeBob movies, like, mm -hmm. in the theater. Remember when we used to go to the theater? Uh, so it was in the movie, and we walked out, and I said, oh, Dad, what'd you think? He goes, that was strange. <laughs> so, so I'm thinking to myself, how is this going to roll, right? Because yeah. I have to listen to the SpongeBob voice. Well, that crap, I mean, they'll be in front of that. They'll be on that sofa watching. There's yeah, no doubt not about move. it. No, they're, they're not going to move. Nickelodeon 
is going to reach that, help reach that audience, kind of partner with the NFL right. a little bit. Smart move, NFL. I know. And uh, so it should be a lot of fun to see how that plays out. And they're doing it on a playoff game, so that's even bigger. When right, bigger audience. audience -wise. Yeah. yeah, those wild card games, Absolutely. too. Um, okay, so we'll see what happens there. And, and NBC, by the way. Oh, you and I that's were right. talking, NBC on the 10th, I believe, yep. same, that night on the primetime coverage, uh, they're going to experiment a little bit. Again, kind of branching out. The ball game is going to be not only on NBC, but also Telemundo and also on the the new Peacock app that they're really promoting, trying right. to get people on. And uh, they're going to use the platform of the playoffs uh, as well on January 10th. So NBC, uh, not going Nickelodeon on that, but uh, <laughs> right. but they are going to find a way to, to really expand that audience and, and show the product off. And I think it's a good move. I think so too. And way to kind of like expand, as you were saying, the audience. Okay, so last time you were here last week, we talked about you being a girl dad. Oh, yeah. And kind of, you know, have you embarrassed the kids? And we get a lot of eye rolls from Connor now, you know, because he's 13. <laughs> so this next story oh, really, age. yeah, <laughs> that age, exactly. So this next story really spoke to me. It's from Boris. Ford Panda, which sandwich bag uh, from sandwich bag dad, he's the user here. Okay. And he is from Australia and um, he's a dad of three daughters who would put a daily cartoon in their lunch bags with a dad joke. So, you know, they'd get their lunch right. and kind of open this up. And we have a few <laughs> that we want to bring to you. So I'll do this one here. Okay. Looking sharp. And you are ink readable. Oh, wow. Readable, right? He, he Am I, I'm not even saying it right, I'm sure. He worked hard on that one, didn't he? He did, but look at how cute that is. Born to me mild. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's dad on the uh, motor scooter there. Right, because you don't want to drive too fast. No. Uh, this one is really catchy because she's singing, right? Okay, okay. Um, I do have one for you. Are you ready? What's that? Okay, so I can't take full credit for this, so if it bombs, it's Orlando's fault. Okay. Um, why do teenage girls only walk in three, five, and sevens? If I, why do they? Because they can't even. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> I, I don't know. What I, what I want to know is, okay, so this guy, he's out of Australia? Yeah. Okay, so how long did it take for the daughter to get to school initially showing her friends and then quickly saying, you know, he didn't do one today? No, <laughs> didn't have one today. I don't know what happened. We're not doing it. You can also follow his Sandwich Bag Chronicles on Instagram, Facebook, or on Board Panda. All right. Um, okay, so we loved a little, little laugh and a little joke. Yeah. Last time we played golf. We did. Or we yeah, putted. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, and you made me use that little putt-putt. The AJ's little... putter. Okay, so now we've got, what are we doing you here? know, a game for the season. Are okay. we going to go over to the monitor? Is that we're going to, okay, so we're going to walk over to this big monitor right, over I'm here. Follow so you. Are gonna, and then we have Jason who's going to walk in our props. I didn't wear heels because I didn't want to, you know, give myself an unfair advantage. You okay. know what I mean? I got so, you. I got you. Um, we, have, we have antlers. All right. Um, I think we're supposed to take them off though, right? We take the antlers off first. Hang on. Can you hold that while I put it on, Jason? Thanks. And it should tie. Oh, and I've got a oh, headband okay. on. Oh, okay. I got you. I got which, you. Which may not work for... Okay, so we got the antlers. Have you ever played the uh, ever popular I've, antler toss game? I have not. This is a first. This is. Th I think they this broadcast this on ESPN okay. somewhere. What, what do I do with oh. my rings now? Well, I'll hold them for you. But hang on, we okay. got one more thing. Got to put it on my nose. Yeah, because you're right. Rudolph. Okay. I'll Here, I'll hold those, and then you can tie your. I can't your... breathe, but I'm I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wear it too. We're both Rudolph. Okay. Oh yeah, it's hard to breathe. And if you okay. want it, you think you want? Do you need to tie it? Yeah, I better tie it. Yeah. You got it? Oh, like Do you want to look here? in the monitor? You can try it. Oh, this is a great look. It's, it's I like good, the look right? right here, yeah. I know. I'm just going to take Oscar for a walk with us on my head tomorrow and see if <laughs> Go we for can. It. You'll get so, some looks. Um, okay, you've got yours. Yeah. I think I've got more. Oh, I do. Okay, so maybe I'll just hold those. We'll see what happens. Okay. Better. And how there many do go. you have? You have four? All right, I'll do four. Yeah, where'd my other ones go? Here, oh, yeah, I'm holding crazy. them. Okay. Here. Okay, You've and got I've got four still on there. I know. Can you help me, Jason? I don't know. Don't we sound um, weird talking with a? Uh, I, I feel like person. I am. <laughs> okay, because our no. All right, you want to try it? Yeah, go for it. Okay, okay so you, you want to go, go first? I'll go first. So I'm trying to catch these, or do I just I, stay still? Well, you, I don't know. It's up to you okay. if you want to help me out. All right, go. Oh no. Okay. God. Do I need to tilt my head? Maybe. Oh, now I'm going over you. Oh, oh! I must give you a halo. Oh, this is terrible. A difficult game, huh? Hang on. We should have oh, practiced this. this. Terrible. We should have <laughs> practiced. Nope. Done. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Ready? Do I stay still? Oh, I, you it's on top of your head right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Miss okay. that one. Miss. Oh, you got two oh, on your two head. Two halos. Now. I think that's extra points. 
Okay. This is, this is apparently is a right? very popular game on Amazon. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, almost got one. Okay, let me stand up straight. How we doing? Oh, got one. Oh. I got one. Okay. Ready? I got two. Oh, gosh. Okay, I need more. Can I get a couple more? Let me see if I can do it. Oh. Right. I'm knocking things off. Okay, this is to... a very, very popular game on Amazon. Do you play this at home, Randy, with your girls? Uh, no. <laughs> They're 25 and 21. I know, right? I They're like, the... Dad, don't embarrass me. If I pull that this out, they may terrible. not may look very weird. Huh? Oh, okay. my gosh. I don't like losing. Here, just put one on there. Let's see. I still can't even get it. Okay, there's one. Okay. Let's see if I can get another one, legit-wise. Nope. Oh, okay, I got one. Got it. There we go. Okay, good, good. All right. Got another Let's one? Let's try another one. Oh. There you I just go. Won. I just won. You were the winner. Oh, Jason. You're the winner. Way to go. <laughs> way to go. That was, okay, we're going to make our way. i got to take this nose off here. Can we go back over here? Thank you. What do we win? Do we win anything? That's some, uh, that a lot of work. Yeah, and we had to wear these hats. And we, you know, we had to do this on TV. Right. Do you guys have any other traditions that you normally do on, like, It's more like, you know, as they've gotten older, it's more like movie watching and stuff right. like that. Not necessarily games, but, uh, you know, Christmas Eve, you try to open some gifts and do that kind of stuff. But no right. real games that stand out to me. How about you guys? You know, we d no, we don't do games, yeah. um, but we definitely... We, it's the movie thing, and I think yeah. now it's really the movie thing because that's all we do oh, is yeah. watch movies. Plenty of choices. Yeah. And I feel like Home Alone. Ever, I came home the other night, and that's yeah. what was on. Yeah, Home Alone one or two. Well, it, they're, it they're went, showing them all now. Yeah, it, it went through the whole series, and then yeah. it went to Elf. It's never off. Like yeah. I feel like it's always on at I, our house. I like Elf, and I like Christmas vac. Uh, Christmas oh. is a Christmas vacation. Yeah, or whatever. I mean, that's yeah, the classic. It's the classic. Uh, there's some other good ones out there as well, but uh, they're all on. You know, Elf so, just makes me laugh. You know, I, I just if we can't go anywhere. Where at least we can just laugh together as a family. And yeah, he says, I need that to thing's going to be played 20 years, 30 years from now. I need to start buying some gifts, though, because I'm a <laughs> Are you a little behind? I'm, I'm going to uh, see everybody at the mall this weekend. I was going to say, you got a week. This is not Less good. Than a week, yeah. It's, it's time is ticking. Right. Okay, so right. we're going to take these off during the commercial. We all we have to wear them the whole hour. Okay, that's, okay. Good. that's good. Hey, still to come, uh, have you picked up any odd hobbies uh, while in quarantine? A lot of people have out there from taxidermy to cat movie posters. Uh, we're going to chat about some of the strangest pastimes as well. Those sound really weird. Yep. Plus, we're going to take a look at these beautiful angel trees that have an important message behind them. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Well, welcome back. You know, for many of us, quarantine has taught us a lot about ourselves. Some, some questionable, yeah, right? Yeah. I know we can laugh at ourselves. Challenge for us. <laughs> and you have learned a lot, and from people that you may have picked up, maybe a, a weird or strange hobby. And have you heard about? Because we're all spending so much time at home. So yeah, it's we are. Like, and it's weird because. Uh, here at Channel 2, we're in and out a lot, a little bit more often. We're social distancing, yeah. so I'm not stuck at home a lot. But uh, I know a lot of people that, that have been, that's what their jobs have them do. And right. Kind of well, I know my husband hasn't been in an office since March 9th. Wow. So, all right, we do have a list um, from our friends over at Reddit, and they've put this together. Yep. And this is all about strange hobbies or, you know. What's he so doing here? This one is um, this guy actually built a wall for his wife's coffee mug collection. Okay. So, I don't know. I mean, hey. that's one of the pictures. It's a, it's a creative uh, way to go there. Well, I'm, uh, I'm victim well. of this. I have so many coffee mugs. Um, and so, apparently, this is like some kind of wood carver? I don't know. Okay. Pokemon oh, they're characters. Pokemon characters. Yeah. That's quite a talent. I mean, when do you figure out that you can do that? So they're breaking these out, painting them, doing all the painting for them yeah, and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, Okay, a lot of time um, on their hands. And then this one is um, painting a collection of memes, and here's the progress so far. Those so you good. see, like, the one, the Real Housewives lady, and then the cat. Look at Willy Wonka there. Yeah. Willy Wonka. Gosh, that person's very talented. Um, and then this one, I thought this was hilarious. So this person writes, my favorite hobby, photoshopping my cat into movie posters and setting them uh, setting basically on her fiance's phone background. <laughs> Look at that. Saving private mittens. M mittens. <laughs> nice touch. I like it. I like it. I just saw the picture of the other, and look at even just the ears on the 
<laughs> the whole thing is perfect. That's a, I'm very impressed with some of these. I'm telling you, I mean, that's a lot of effort to come up with a new hobby. Well, you know what? You've got to, you know, when you're inside, you got to get creative. You got to say, okay, how, what can I do to fill yeah. some time here? And you know, if you're doing it with your spouse. You know what my hobby is? Eating every flavor of Oreo ever made. Oh, but hey. Why not? I, Somebody's like got to do it. Yeah, I, I love them. I love me an Oreo. I can't turn, turn that down at all. No, I know. Okay, we do want to hear from you. Do you have any weird hobbies? Maybe in the past that you are still doing? Gotta be out there. You had a shark tooth collection. That was kind of like your hobby, yeah. right? Well, it's kind of, yeah, growing up, it was a deal where we spent so much time at the beach. Yeah. You know, we, if we weren't fishing, we were on the beach, and, uh, you know, Galveston area has pretty good shark's teeth if yeah. you're into that, and uh, all over the country, especially in Florida. And, uh, yeah, so I, I, we showed a couple of pictures uh, a few months ago, and I was right. on, I believe, and uh, it was a lot, of, it's a lot of fun. We still do a little bit, dabble in it. My wife uh, does a little bit of it as well, but, uh, You've got to be on the beach at the right time. It's got to be low Absolutely. tide. And, yeah, it's, You've got to find the perfect one, too. All, all the elements have to be I used place. to have a Barbie collection, no more, but, yeah. you know, that was time and, and Gave it money. Up. Yeah, I just couldn't keep up with it. So, <laughs> anyway, I like the saving private mittens. I, think I, that I one's love my that favorite. one. I do like that one. You know, switching gears a little bit now, so many people have lost their lives due to distracted driving, and now they are being honored in a very special way. Yeah, Joe Sam is in Angleton uh, with one local woman uh, spreading an important message during this busy time time of the year. Joe? Yeah, that's right. So we talk about how busy of a time this year is with these people driving and not really paying attention and people lose their lives behind this year. And that's why this local woman here in Angleton is creating these beautiful trees that you see behind me with all of these pictures on here. We're actually meeting with her right now, Miss Mindy Red, to talk about the pictures that we see on these trees. There are seven of them that shows us what? Seven of the trees are people that have their lives taken by impaired and distracted driving. And so about two years ago, I had seen a tree in where they honor the murder victims. And my, my thought was, well, can we do something like that for impaired and distracting driving? Mm -hmm. uh, my oldest was killed 12 years ago this February. This is her here by an impaired driver. And so I kind of started reaching out to local friends because unfortunately, we kind of say we're a group that nobody wants to be a part of. And so there's lots of us that have lost our children, husbands, wives, loved ones. And so I kind of started reaching out. And at first it kind of looked bleak, mm -hmm. like nobody was really interested. And then last year we had three trees full. And then this year we have seven full trees. All of these are people from all, all over, over the nation. All right, over. that has reached out to you to showcase their loved ones and really just to continue living out their legacy, to tell their story and to remind people of why it's so important to slow down out there on the roads, especially with it being such a busy time of year. A lot of people are trying to get to where they need to go fast and they're not really thinking about the importance of driving safe on the road. And these trees are here to remind them that there's a life out there that they can possibly affect and the family behind those lives. Too. So this is really great, not just bringing us the joy of Christmas, but really celebrating the lives of these people who have been taken due to impaired and distracted driving, correct? Absolutely, and it's reminding the families that they're not forgotten. Those mm -hmm. empty chairs at the holiday season, they're not forgotten. They're remembered. They matter. Their families matter. So many families have, you know, just lost hope this time of year. They're so sad and, and depressed, and it was just our family's way of attempting to bring some joy to remind them that we we love their family members we we didn't forget them absolutely and you it know has what spread all there's several trees over this project going on in california and in louisiana all as well. over the place and we're going to continue to talk about that and how you out there as well can help out with this amazing cause we've seen the trees here of those who have deceased and we're going to actually check out one of the survivors as well when we come back for right now courtney and randy we're going to send things back to you but a very important message being spread here in angleton absolutely and a strong yeah. message as well and we need those trees to stop growing today everybody needs to just keep their eyes on the road right. joe we'll see you back in just a little bit all right appreciate it joe hey when we come back we're gonna take a little break we're gonna hear from texans quarterback deshaun watson shares a health initiative that is very dear to his heart and also we're gonna meet a 12 year old girl who's helping houston fight against hunger peace and life we'll be right back
Welcome back. You know, Cigna is more than a health insurance company. They are your partner with Total Health and Wellness, and they're for you 24-7, caring for your body and mind. Derek had an opportunity to learn more about how they are keeping you healthy this season with the help of Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. Flu season is upon us, and with COVID-19 numbers continuing to rise, it's now more important than ever to stay healthy. This is especially true for people of color. According to the Houston Health Department, Hispanics account for 54% of coronavirus deaths, and black residents almost a quarter. Here with more on how to stay safe is Jim Hickey, Cigna Market President for South Texas, and Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. Gentlemen, Welcome to you both. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Deshaun, we're going to get to your involvement in just a moment. But Jim, I want to start with you. Cigna has this really great initiative to help protect our communities. Describe to us exactly what you are doing. The Cigna Health Improvement Tour is visiting locations around the city this month. And we're doing this to offer free flu shots and provide protective equipment help protect the community during this COVID pandemic. I believe the best gift we can give one another this holiday season is to stay safe and healthy. We're encouraging folks to get their flu shots, help themselves, their families, and the community stay safe. And Jim, I mean, when you mentioned flu shots, it seems like this year more important than ever to get the flu shot. Cigna is helping to spread that message as well, because clearly you want people to not get the flu, not go to the hospital and take up beds that very sick COVID patients might need. Is that right? Yes. I mean, the flu season's upon us, and it's really essential that we don't our hospitals with flu cases, um, especially while COVID numbers are on the rise. Historically, flu vaccination rates are lower for folks of color. And so that's why we're teaming up with Deshaun Watson to uh, help spread the word about getting your flu shot and staying safe from the pandemic. And uh, Deshaun, turning to you, it is great to see you. I know you're very involved in so many community partnerships. Why is it important for you personally to be part of this effort? Uh, just to be able to save lives. And that, I feel like that's the biggest That's the, the biggest thing for me is to be able to use this platform that I have um, and then be able to, to help sing it out, um, touch people that, that wouldn't be aware of the situation that's going on. Um, and, and for us to be able to touch everyone to save as many lives as we can is very important. Health is always important. And Deshaun, how are you helping encourage people to stay safe? I know you created a video uh, for Cigna to share your story. Yeah, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, just every resources that I have that people will get to see me on. Um, I'm always trying to uh, relate it or, or, or communicate it to, to different people around. Um, and, and for me to be able to continue to show, especially the younger generation, because I have a lot of eyes that are younger than me uh, coming up. Um, just being able to, you know, continue to wash your hands and, and take care of all the great hygiene and, and get checked on and, you know, get the flu shot and different things like that is very, very important. Yeah, getting the flu shot, wearing a mask, following local health guidelines, they're all easy things to do. do. Jim, tell us who can participate in this health improvement tour. The great thing is the flu shots are free, so anyone can come. You do have to be 18 and over. No appointments necessary, no health insurance. Just go up and we will provide a uh, flu shot. And we'll also provide some you know, face masks, hand sanitizer, thermometers, all free to everybody who comes. So if you look for the Cigna Safe van, you can get your free flu shot in a carefully controlled COVID-free environment. That is so great. So no appointment is needed. Uh, no health insurance is needed. These are totally free, right, Jim? That's correct. That is fantastic. Uh, Deshaun, before we let you guys go, how can viewers uh, find out more about the tour and also see that video you made? Uh, you just go to SignaSafeHouston.com um, and then you can catch on there. And then, of course, uh, for me to be able to, I'm going to make sure I post it all over my uh, social media sites uh, so people can see. Um, and, and just kind of communicate from there and just kind of whenever I'm out, spread the word. Well, Deshaun Watson, Jim Hickey, thanks so much to you both. And uh, thanks for your work in the community to keep us all safe. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. And to our viewers, if you would like to learn more about Cigna Health Improvement Tour and where to get your free flu shot, you can visit SignaSafeHouston.com.
Great information there for everybody to get their flu shot. And yeah. making it free, available free for people, is very huge. Yeah, I mean, you know, get the message out, making sure everybody's aware of the opportunities there. And uh, they're right. doing a great job of, of getting that uh, accomplished. Hey, real quick note on, on Deshaun. I mean, he is so involved in the community in the, what, fourth year now. He's been right. the quarterback of the Texans. Uh, just last week, we covered an event, uh, Boys and Girls Club. Very important to him because right, he very grew near. up yeah. needing that. Uh, uh, time with the Boys and Girls Club in his hometown and uh, he gives back each and every year. Last week he partnered with HEB helping four or five families. Fantastic. Free electricity, free groceries for a year. Oh, it's great. Uh, gift cards for the kids. So uh, kudos to Deshaun Watson for stepping out. Absolutely. That's a great we job. love him for sure. Yeah. Okay, guys, coming up, get the recipe for a must-try holiday sweet treat that only requires three ingredients. And if mm. I can make this, anybody can make All it. All right. Looking <laughs> forward to that. Hey, we'll get a, a check of what Keith, Christine, and Frank also have coming up. That'll be on the news at 4 o'clock. Houston Life, back in two minutes. Well, welcome back to Houston Life. I'm Courtney Savala, and it is 3.30. And I'm Randy McAvoy, in for uh, Derek Shore. Are you starting that holiday vacation a little early? A little bit. Uh, relaxing, I'm sure, somewhere. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so time now to talk, take a look at what you had to say about our viewer, Top Talker. And we are asking you if you've had any odd hobbies or oh, something okay. maybe that you started during quarantine and but we're going to start with Barbara she writes in collecting wine glasses from different countries then I can have my own wine tasting pretending that I'm in that country nothing wrong with that right good nice idea there how about <laughs> Kelly Nolan here yes I make baby Yodas out of hand towels I, I mean, mean that, that is impressive it's Look at that it's very well done it's like a cruise, you know, when you like, go to a real cruise. Good. You, okay, so Christine writes in, does crazy cat lady count? I feed feral cats. Oh, God, all those. I know. And she's built them shelters. Well, you know, we're, Christine, you're, you know, you called yourself that, not us. But, <laughs> hey, look, everybody needs a meal, right? That's right. Line them up. Right. Line them up. We do appreciate y'all writing in and sending pictures, too. And we do want to get a check yeah. now with our friends over at Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming up for the news at 4. I can only imagine what you three have started. Well, I'm, I'm weird, um, for sure. I just don't know if I've started any weird, you know. <laughs> Yeah, me either. I'm trying to think. I'm like, what habits did I pick up? A lot more sitting. I, I started cooking more. I, I like to drink wine too, but just because I like to drink wine. Uh, I'm not, it's not like a, a trip around the world or anything like that. And that's not weird, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's not. Yeah, I don't think it's weird. Just part of the daily routine. Right? Just part yeah. of the daily routine, you know? Yeah. But we, we love hearing from the viewers. I love the Baby Yoda towels. That, that is. is. Those they look are great. Nice. I mean, that was legit. That was it's like talent. a talent. Cool oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. She might need to take that on the road. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Things you learn during quarantine. All right. So, obviously, warmer today day than it's been, but it is cloudy. We've seen a few raindrops, so let's check yeah. in with uh, Frank to see you how know, things are shaping up for the weekend. There's just been enough drizzle to make your windshield wipers start going. Yeah. 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 Annoying way. Get on your nerves, yeah. Yeah, and that's what we're going to see as we go into the next couple of hours. Also, you can see the clouds. There's Triangle Energy Camera right there. Across Discovery Green, temperatures are warmer today. Low 60s generally all across the area. We're going to continue to see it on the warm side because of the clouds and also a pretty stout breeze out of the southeast. You can see the clouds that rolled in. In fact, I, I went into the uh, uh, salon today at uh, like 11 and it was sunny and I came out at 1130 and it was cloudy. So it didn't take long for all of this to move in with that light rain. We're going to continue to see this front move our way between that front and this high that's exiting. That's why we're getting the winds. So a strong southeast wind even to 20 miles an hour at Bush. Here's the front for tomorrow and that's going to be a rainmaker for Saturday. Much of Saturday is going to be a washout. Right now though, enjoy it. Just the clouds more than anything with temperatures on the mild side. So perfect for a little dog walk or shopping or walking or whatever you're doing. We're going to go from the sprinkles to the showers tomorrow. And I'm going to have the timeline coming up at 4 for Saturday uh, morning, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, right on into Sunday. So I'll have that for you. And then a Christmas week warm-up, as certainly as we get toward Wednesday. And we'll talk about Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Christine? All right, Frank. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Also coming up at 4 o'clock today, the latest on the coronavirus vaccine front. Moderna is still waiting for the official go-ahead from the FDA. Plus, health reporter Haley Hernandez is working on a story about more of the vaccine coming to pharmacies. Also coming up
up as many schools begin their two week holiday break. Parents will be scrambling to keep their kids occupied and engaged. Some helpful guidance to make that two week period less stressful for everyone in the household. For everybody in the household, right? Plus, he's a fourth grader who couldn't have a birthday party because of the pandemic. Coming up at four o'clock, we're going to see how he's taking the money that was gifted to him to make a real difference in his community. So this is a good one for sure. A lot coming up at four o'clock, you guys. Absolutely. You guys are just getting me every time at four. Oh, no. the tears. You pull those heartstrings. Yeah. You do. do it. You do it well. All right, guys, we'll see you in less than 20. All right. All right. Need a pinch of holiday spirit in your life with just three ingredients. It can easily be achieved. Courtney says so here. Even with the kids, they can jump in to help. As Absolutely. Well. It was so easy. Yep. We are talking about kid approved sweet treat of peppermint bark. Friend of the show, mom and culinary instructor Marcia Smart shows us how it's done. You know, you have always been our go-to source for cooking, meal prep, batch cooking, and you are certainly our source now during the holidays. I love that you've done a holiday ebook. Tell me about that. Oh, I love doing it. This is maybe the third or fourth year that I've done it, and it's really like my thank you to my people for trusting me and giving me their email address. It's like, okay, you've been reading, you've been following, so it's kind of my gift to my people. <laughs> it's so wonderful, and, and we accept that gift, Marcia. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about some of your holiday highlights because you got us covered from everything from a drink to an appetizer to even a sweet. Um, I'm so excited. Well, my favorite cocktail I've been making lately is a cranberry margarita. And then appetizers, you know I love everything that's like super simple. Um, but I also love throwback recipes like an old school cheese ball rolled in pecans. So that's in my ebook. And then also my peppermint bark, which we make like on repeat this time of year. And peppermint bark is one of those things I think that everybody loves, but this one is kind of near and dear to your heart. You make it with your daughter? So I make it with my daughter a ton. Now she makes it without me. She literally will come home from school and be like, hey, we need some more peppermint bark because it's so easy. All you have to do is put a couple bags of white chocolate chips in a microwave safe bowl. And then I just melt it for a couple minutes, stir it up until it's totally melted, add a little bit of crushed candy canes, Add a half teaspoon of peppermint extract, stir that up, lay it out on a sheet pan, maybe line it with parchment paper, and then just be sure you cool it so it's um, kind of breakable. It'll take about 45 minutes to cool. You should make it with your son, actually. Okay, well, you said it's super simple, minimal ingredients, so I think I'm gonna give it a try. You ready? All right, let's get started. My little chef here, AJ, we're ready to go. So we have our two bags of white chocolate chips. No, you can't eat the stuff that we're making. Not yet. culinary home run by you and me in the kitchen. I'm telling you, it was so good, Randy. Yeah, I mean, he's com he's very confident there yes. in the kitchen. He did such a great job. Yeah. I always love, he always, he's been bugging me to make it. And you were a kid, and that was, let Looks so pretty easy. easy. Yeah. So easy. Tasted I mean, the bulk good of the and, time is yeah. putting in the refrigerator to yeah. let it set, but very easy to make. Make sure to check out HoustonLife.tv for the full recipe. And again, if I, like I can it. make it, anybody can make yeah, it. Absolutely. We're looking forward. <laughs> I wish we had a sample here. We tried. I know. I'm sorry. It's all gone, Randy. I, when you have a kid in the house, yeah. It's all gone. Doesn't last long, does it? <laughs> hey, still to come, uh, we're going to check back in with Joe Sam. Uh, he's out live uh, learning how one mom is helping bring awareness this holiday season. And after the break, how a local girl used her passion for art to give back to the community. She's going to give us a crash course in painting coming up. My name is Rhea Goyle and I'm 12 years old. The first time I got into art was when I was about like five. I have loved art since I was a little kid and I love to paint, draw, and use a lot of different art mediums. I created a 
a flyer over a site called Canva and I just put, uh, my mom posted it on Facebook and I had a couple of different lessons to offer, some for older kids and some for younger, so there's a variety of things you can choose from. My classes are 100% virtual. I just did it over a Google Meet, so there would be no, like, contact. Um, I noticed a need when people started losing their jobs, like it would say on the news, and they would be able to provide enough food. So I thought it'd be a good idea to donate to the Houston Food Bank. I raised $500 in total. It was a good feeling because I knew that I raised it by myself and I donated it so it could help other people. But it felt nice to actually hold that big check and give it to the Houston Food Bank. Just to like think about people around you that are less fortunate and think what you could do just to help them. Tell you what, we've got a lot to learn from this young lady. Yes. Rhea Goel is joining us now live to give us a crash course in painting 101. Hey, is. Rhea. Hi. Thanks so much for joining us today. What a great story, and it was so wonderful to hear about your virtual art lessons and your passion for art. So, Randy, you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what the end <laughs> result's gonna be, but we're, I'm, hoping, I'm looking forward to this lesson, though. I need all the help I can get here. Okay, so you're gonna tell us how to paint a Christmas tree. Let's get started, teacher. You have control. <laughs> what should we do first? Start with mixing your blue and white paint and then painting the whole entire background blue. Okay, blue and white paint mixed together? Yes. Mix okay. it together, okay. And then? And then paint the whole entire background blue until we want to leave it in the shape. Okay, so just a top and a bottom line? Is that right? Yes. You want to paint all like in between here, just till from this line to the top. So okay. all in between here. Okay. So we're gonna do multiple lines here, right? Okay. I think I'm using too much. This is sort of therapeutic, I have to say. Get a little music going too. I know. Get a zone here. Is this? I don't know, Ria. Can you see what we're doing? Uh, yeah. Is this right? Do we do we do the whole do we do the whole yeah. background? The whole background's yeah. gonna be with this white and blue, right? Yeah. Okay. One background. Okay. You just wanna leave a little bit of space at the bottom. Oh, well I missed that part, so let's just do that. Okay, what do we do next? Um you wanna put take plain white and put it at the bottom. Plain white and do what? I just put it at the bottom. Well, I mixed it with the blue. I did too. I'm... <laughs> okay. Help! We need white bottom, paint. Like in the, the the down here, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Mix a little white there. Yeah. Got to borrow a little bit of your white. Yeah. Well, I mixed it all in. I know. Oh, you're. Just, okay. I'm, I'm just okay. just like you. Here, okay. I got a little bit here. Okay. Okay. So we did that. We have about 90 seconds left. What's left? Um, you place your fan brush. Okay. And you take your green paint and start mm -hmm. at the top. Oh, and then you, you go in the middle, kind of, and then go out, just like that. Okay, if you don't have a fan, can I use the thin brush? Yeah, the thin fan brush. Okay. Just uh, take the paint and go out, like that. What color are we doing here? Green. Green on the bottom? Green, yeah. Okay, on the bottom and go out and back. Yeah, you just keep going outwards like that and you, you want to go all the way up. Okay. Like oh boy, it. we have 30 seconds left. What else, Rhea? Oh, all of a sudden, I see a Christmas tree. There you go, yep. And then you, take your, uh, you can take another brush and take plain white paint. And, and kind of blend it into the green. The white? Yeah, you take plain white paint and blend it into the green. 
Okay, so keep going, but I want to tell you something, Rhea, before we go. I mean, You're really good, Rhea. This is actually not, I'm not terrible here, so this is good. Um, I got a little tree there. You do have a tree. Yeah. So, Rhea, because we are so impressed with your teaching ability and the way that you've outreached in the community with your giving spirit, we have a little gift for you. That's right. We're surprising you right now. Yeah, so thank you for all of your hard work, Rhea. We're going to give you a four-pack of tickets to the Houston Zoo Lights. How about that? And also access to your choice of two Galveston attractions, including the Moody Gardens Rainforest Pyramids and the Bryan Museum as well, plus a few more fun places for you to choose from. How about that? Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome, and keep doing what you're doing and uh, making a difference in our community. By the way, Rio, we want to make sure that you know our producers will get in touch with you to make sure that you get your gifts. Randy, this is what it's supposed to look like, so maybe we can look oh, a little okay. bit more We're... during the break. <laughs> We've got some work to do. We need to take a full lesson from Rhea. Thank you yeah. so much. We're going to be in touch. The producers will be in touch. Randy, <laughs> can you please autograph that for us? I will. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and if you awesome. want to sharpen your painting skills we are going to share <laughs> Rhea's step-by-step -step guide on our website I think we need to take another class <laughs> uh, we need some help it's a start it is a start okay now let's check back in with Joe Sam for a look at what he has coming up hey guys so we've been talking about the importance of drinking and driving and why you shouldn't be doing it and the meaning behind these beautiful trees that you can see here behind us called angel trees when we come back we're going to tell you about the survival angel tree that we have here in Angleton more Houston life after a quick break Welcome back here to Houston Life. We're spreading an important message here in Angleton, and we're talking about angel trees, why you should not be out there drinking and driving, especially during this busy time of year. I'm here with Miss Mindy, and you've been creating these angel trees, talking to families all over. We've seen some of the trees early of those who have passed away and their loved ones, but we also have trees that showcases the survivors as well. So let's talk a little bit about the survival angel tree that you have here. Absolutely. These are... Crash survivors, as we call them. Um, these are people that have been um, sleeping in their beds or, you know, driving in the street, walking on crosswalks. But all of these people on this tree have survived their crash. Many with long-term injuries. Um, the young lady in the back, like I said, has going on her ninth surgery. But these all survived and have lived to tell their stories. Absolutely wonderful for those two. And it, what's really important that you guys take a, a good shift of all of this that we're seeing here because we see the people on this tree here, which is the survivor tree, but look at it compared to the other trees here, which those who have not been so fortunate. Mindy, what can you tell those drivers out there, giving them some simple tips on getting out there on the road and driving safe so that we don't see more of these trees continue to grow? Absolutely. The big thing is plan ahead. When you plan to go out, you know where you're going to go, you know what you're going to wear, who you're going to go with. You probably even have an idea how much money you want to spend. Plan on how you're getting home. You can call Lyft, Uber, a friend. There's so many different ways. There's just no excuse to get behind the wheel after drinking. Um, if you are going to drink, hand someone your keys. That way Absolutely. you don't get Superman syndrome after the fact and pull those keys out. Give someone else your keys. Um, put the phone down while you're driving. You know, uh, hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. I think that's the most important thing there. And we're going to have more information on how you can actually help Mindy out in her cause and what she's doing here with these angel trees to continue helping those families out there. But for right now, we're here in Angleton really spreading an important message. Yep. Courtney and Randy. Joe, great job out there. We, we thank you and your guests there for taking time to really tell the story of what's out there right now and uh, get the message out. Yeah, and a powerful yeah. story as well. Joe, thanks so much. After the break, a look at what's coming up on Monday's show as we get ready to say goodbye to the year of 2020. I think a lot of people are ready for that. Ready. And as we head to break, here's a look at what is coming up on Entertainment Tonight with Nichelle Turner. We're celebrating Brad's birthday and the gifts he gave us. That's tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC 2. Now, stay right there. Houston Life will be right back.
coming up this Saturday at 630. Join us for a look through some of the most beautiful properties in Houston with the help of Douglas Elliman. This week, we will take a look at the booming condo market right here in H-Town. So make sure to tune in tomorrow night to Houston Life Condo Living starting at 630 right here on KPRC Channel 2. And also coming up next week on Houston Life, we're taking a look back at some of our favorite moments from the year. On Monday, we're getting Zoom call ready with Dominique and burning off the quarantine 15. And remember that time Joe Exotic was on the show? Classic. You don't want to miss that. Very classic HL segments. Watch all week long to see the best of 2020. <laughs> there he is. And that was Studio 1H. You know, I did 68 shows from home this year. Wow. Um, Carol Baskin there. So, Randy, thank yep. you so much for hanging out with us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, Playing our reindeer games. Yeah, we played golf will. last week. Yeah. We did uh, the ring toss today. We're wearing noses. And we're now artists. Yeah. We are now yes. budding artists. Yes, we are. Yes. Can't you tell? <laughs> I know. Randy, thanks so much. It was a to have you here have on set. A great Christmas. Happy holidays to you. Same to y'all. And join, um, we will see you next week. That's Monday because today is Friday. We're going to send right. it over to Keith and Christine for the news at four. Just some reindeer games, guys. All you right. guys look fabulous. Thank yes. you. Very multi talented, too, I must say. And you brought up Joe Exotic. Kind of catch oh. the rings here, guys. Uh -oh. yes. <laughs> yeah. You brought up Joe Exotic. I'm just going to say not guilty, and we'll move on from there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My man Moving got it on. <laughs> 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 See you guys.